Thanks for watching 2 for 10. I'm Melissa. Welcome to my kitchen. Tonight our focus is going to be on the sides. This is a really good meal to make whether you're a newbie in the kitchen or you're just looking for a really good meal with next to no work involved. I was going to share an unbelievable recipe for coconut shrimp with you, but by the time I priced it out, it cost about $15 to make and a half hour to prepare. That's just for the shrimp. So with a little help from the seafood department of my grocery store, we're going to make a fun and easy meal. Tropical rice with exotic fruits and coconut shrimp. So let's get started. For our sides, we're going to need rice. I suggest long grain or jasmati rice. Half of a papaya, one small can of pineapple, two cups of chicken stock, one small onion, three cloves of fresh garlic, one star fruit, a bag of coconut, three tablespoons butter, salt, and pepper. For the rice, I'm going to start by adding one cup of uncooked rice, two cups of chicken stock, and one tablespoon of butter. We're going to bring this to a boil and that's it for right now. Now while we're waiting for the rice, we're going to sweat our garlic and onion. I have my pan heating over medium heat and I'm going to reduce to a medium low. Going to add our onions and our garlic, which I've chopped finely. Two tablespoons of butter. Some pepper. And some salt. And we're going to cook until lightly golden. Stir often, you don't want them to burn. Now our rice has come to a boil, so you're going to stir once and you want to cover with a tight fitting lid. If you don't have a tight fitting lid, use a dish. You're going to reduce your heat to a simmer and cook for about 20 minutes. Previously on the adventures of little Melissa. This is your captain speaking. We'll be cruising at an altitude of 30,000 feet where we may experience a little turbulence. Oh my God, we're all gonna die. Uh, this isn't good. Now, the conclusion. Well, I had better beginnings to a vacation, that's all I'm saying. Ooh, presents! Man, I wonder how much you have to hate somebody to send them a volleyball overseas. Whoever you are, buddy, I just saved you from a crappy birthday gift. Anyway... <sighs> Time for some shut-eye. What do you think, Wilson? Do we have enough wood to keep this signal fire blazing? What's that, Wilson? I should get a little bit more? Well, why, Wilson, if you aren't the cleverest little friend I ever made... Do you hear that, Wilson? I think we're saved. I just heard Jeff Probst play the jungle trumpet. Oh man, Wilson. I bet it's a reward challenge. No! It's probably the Skipper and Gilligan looking for more coconuts so the professor can finish his nuclear reactor. Wait a minute. Ewoks? Who the hell are you guys? You trespass on Sacred Beach. You must come with us and talk, Chief. Let me check my count. Hey, wait a minute. I'm not in any trouble, am I? You talk chief, he choose whether he have feast in your honor, or you become feast. He no has decide. Well, okay. I was running out of bathroom space anyway. Oh, what about Wilson? He's my friend and I just can't leave him here. What do we do about him? Um, we come back very later. 
Deal. Come to think of it, where am I? What are you, African? Pacific Islander? We prefer stay nondescript. This way we funny and no piss people off. Hmm. Chief, we bring unkempt female to you. Dude, seriously, just say it one time and I swear I'll stop asking. Fine. What you talking about, Willis? Ha <laughs> ha! Awesome. Totally awesome. Ha ha ha! You funny and mildly attractive. We keep you alive. Yippee! For now. Don't! We have huge cookout in your honor. Now that our garlic and onion are done, we're going to put them aside and prep our fruit. I'm using one star fruit. If you've never had one before, you are missing out. It's juicy and crisp. It reminds me of a cross between a Granny Smith apple and a pear. Just slice and serve. Now for the papaya, one of my all-time favorite fruits. Just take a spoon and scoop out your seeds into a bowl for easier cleanup. Then simply scoop out your papaya with your spoon onto the chopping board. I'm going to dice about one-third finely for our rice and the rest into larger pieces for the fruit salad we're going to prepare. Our pineapple is going to be prepared the same way. When you open the can, drain and reserve the juice. Then chop finely about a third for the rice and reserve the rest of the pineapple and the juice for our salad. I also suggest serving this meal with a dipping sauce. Be creative, use what you have on hand. I'm using apricot preserves and coarse mustard. You could also use honey and add a little bit of hot sauce with a dash of nutmeg. Or try sweet and sour sauce. Be creative, it's your meal. Now our rice is almost finished, so I'm going to take a couple of handfuls of coconut and lightly toast in a pan. I'm also going to sprinkle it with a little bit of sugar. Once it's lightly golden, remove from the heat source. It's okay if you get a little smoke. It'll only take a minute or two. It's been about 20 minutes and our rice is finished. I'm going to stir in our papaya and pineapple, garlic and onion. Add salt and pepper to taste. If you have it on hand, add a little ginger for a sweet kick. Mix well, but not hard. You don't want to smush your fruit. 20 minutes later. Um, guys, what the hell is this shit? I thought you guys were all tribal and whatnot. You don't cook your own food? Look, large butt. Just because we primitive, it no mean we not busy. We spend all day make masks to sell dumb tourists for only $19.95. Plus tax. Who have time to cook? You know, you make a good point. Pre-made meals is a shortcut? That's a great idea. Don't you guys think so? Now we're ready to plate. Try fanning your shrimp in rows. I lightly sprinkled on some paprika for extra color before I heated it in the oven. If you got them from the store like I did, follow the directions on the package to cook them. Remember, this show is all about the sides. If you don't like the idea of using pre-prepped shrimp, be inventive with your choice. Why not use teriyaki chicken or pork? For the salad, I mixed our pineapple, papaya, and star fruit, and just topped it off with our toasted coconut. For an extra tropical touch, I'm serving mine in a coconut shell. There's instructions all over the internet on how to open one, if you want to try it. Or, for no added cost, use the papaya we scooped out as a serving bowl. Drizzle lightly with the pineapple juice we kept aside for extra sweetness. And that's our meal. So we took a shortcut with the shrimp. But we have a tropical dinner with two people for less than $10 in about 20 minutes. Thanks for watching. I'm Melissa, and I am ready to eat.